The year is 1948. Citroën, a company based in France, would introduce this 2CV, which was or would be the French Model T, even though production figures were closer to what the Model A produced, with 3.8 million being produced from 1948 through 1990, 42-year run. It was the first front-wheel drive car to sell in the millions. The engine is super interesting and different, to say the least, than anything offered at the time. It was a twin-cylinder engine where the pistons go back and forth as opposed to up and down, flat twin, by twin or boxer twin cylinder layout. Designed by Walter Beckian and Lucian Gerald, they drew inspiration from BMW with the motorcycle engine, which also was a flat twin design. The 2CV engine was built with simplicity in mind, four-stroke engine, two-cylinder boxer layout, block cylinder and cylinder jugs were made of aluminum, which helped dissipate heat. It also helped keep the engine lightweight. The cylinder heads and jugs were detachable and they were precision machined, lap to fit with gas tight seal, which negated the need for gaskets. No distributor. Instead, it used a wasted spark plug ignition and fired both cylinders at the same time. When the piston was near top dead center on either compression or exhaust stroke, to expand on a wasted spark plug system, the spark plugs fire in pairs. One plug in the cylinder on its compression stroke and another plug in the cylinder on the exhaust stroke. The extra spark plug has no effect, hence the name or the term wasted. The design cuts the number of components in your average ignition system in half, simplistic yet reliable, controlled only by speed, no vacuum advance was needed. Inlet and exhaust manifolds were welded together into a single unit. Crankcase was also precision lapped fit, no gaskets. Valves were overhead, actuated by push rods, but the valves were angled. Hemispheric combustion chambers. The crankshaft is assembled. It is not a single piece. Connecting rods are placed on crank pins and press fitted together. Pistons move in phase, meaning they move together. Both pistons hit top dead center at the same time. Introduced in 1948, the first variant of the 2CV, which was 375cc air-cooled overhead valve Flat twin, it was capable of making 9 horsepower, 3,500 RPM, 15 pound-feet or 20 newton meters around 2,000 RPM with a bore of 2.44 inches and a stroke of 2.44 inches. Compression was 6.2 to 1 years. This engine was used 1948 through 1959. In 1954, jug size would increase bringing overall displacement to 425 cc air-cooled flat twin. It was capable of 12 horsepower at 3,500 RPM, 17 pound-feet or 23 newton meters around 2,000 RPM with a bore of 2.5 inches and a stroke of 2.44 inches. Years this engine was used, 1954 through 1970. In 1970, Citroën would release two new engines. The smaller of the two was 435cc air-cooled flat twin. It was capable of 26 horsepower at 6,750 RPM, 21 pound-feet or 28 newton meters around 3,500 RPM with a bore of 2.69 inches and a stroke of 2.32 inches. Years this engine was used, 1970 through 1978. Rounding off the list was the biggest variant of the 2CV engine. It was 602cc air-cooled flat twin. It was capable of anywhere between 28 to 33 horsepower at 5,500 RPM, 29 pound-feet or 39 newton meters around 3,500 RPM with a bore of 2.91 inches and a stroke of two and three quarters of an inch. Years this engine was used, 1970 through 1990. The 2CV engine would be phased out in 1990 after a 42-year run, making more than 3.8 million units. And the reason why was customers wanted more power. They wanted more speed. Plus, the design was getting a bit long in the tooth at this point and was a bit archaic by the 1990s. 
The car couldn't live up to the modern crash test safety standards either. The 2CV car didn't have crumple zones. And it wasn't replaced with anything, really. All right, now it's time for Would You Rather. One scenario today, but which one would you rather have? 1948 Citroen 2CV or... 1959 Citroen 2CV or 1970 Citroen 2CV. I'm going to leave this here for a minute. If you need more time, feel free. Pause the video. Now it's time for Name That Tune. First person that can give all three, the name of the band, song title, and the lyric that comes next will have their comment pinned to the top of the comments section. If you want to destroy my sweater, whoa, whoa, whoa. Might be an easy one, might be a hard one, who knows. But you need all three, the name of the band, song title, and the lyric line that comes next, the, the whole sentence. Thank you all so much for coming out and watching this one. If you'd like to get in touch with me, shoot me a comment in the comment section below. Read and answer all comments posted. I'll say that for self-worth. I say that if you take the moment, if you take the time to respond by sending a question in the comment section. I will definitely read it and get back to you. Thanks again for everything that you guys bring. And until next time, I'm going to leave you guys with some footage shots of people just driving around the Greenfield Village from last weekend. Enjoy. That one's all restored. Um, so, I mean, there's, there's little squeaks and rattles here and there in this because it's original. Well, it gives a character. Well, it does. The squeaks tell you it needs grease. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, the birds the, stop, the birds uh, stop uh, chirping once they get fed. Yeah, exactly. Oh, my goodness. My truck was doing that. My wife's like, is there a bird in here? I was like, it just needs, <laughs> just needs a little bit. They're the ones that take it. It's like, I don't know where it's coming from. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this ride's like everything that I thought it would be. When you glided oh, past cool. me the other night, the, the, the Last year, I mean, it's whisper smooth. So we're idling Quiet. up this hill in third gear. Third gear. Yeah, my foot is off the accelerator. It just pulls it like effortless. This car has a lot of torque. That's something people don't understand is long, long stroke power is different than big bore power. Yes. Yes, and you know, these cars were never meant for speed. Um, but the power that they had, the effort that you as a driver have to put in to operate the vehicle is so minimal. I mean, we're, we're in third gear right now, coming up this, this hill. And, uh, not many cars can do that.